there you are, fabulous. Welcome, dear client, to my humble abode of all things enchanting and glamorous. I must say you've made an excellent choice in seeking my services for your upcoming Halloween soiree. I assure you, your body shall be nothing short of a spellbinding, hair-raising, and utterly unforgettable event will have the town buzzing for years to come. Picture this, if you will, the entrance to your venue, adorned with the flickering lanterns casting eerie shadows, beckoning your guests into a world where the lines between the living and the supernatural blur deliciously. As they step inside, they'll be greeted by the haunting melodies Rhythms resonating with the very pulse of the night. The atmosphere I intend to create is a mesmerizing blend of elegance and spine tingling spookiness. Your guests will be transported to a realm of decadence with plentiful platters of hors d'oeuvres and champagne flowing like the river sticks. But the true thrill of the evening does lie. Unexpected. Imagine hair-raising seances and intimate terror readings held in dimly lit corners where spirits just might make their presence known. And the decor, of course, will be a spectacle to behold, with cobwebs and candelabra strewn across the rooms, antique mirrors holding hidden secrets and narrow passages. The scent of incense will mingle with the aroma of a decadent thematic delicacies such as blood orange martinis and goblin goulash. And as the clock strikes midnight, a bewitching fireworks display will light up the night, bidding farewell to a night your guests will not soon forget. Oh my dear precious Rest assured that your soiree will be a marvel, an event that will send shivers down spines and make hearts race with delight. With my expertise and your vision, we shall craft a night of enchantment and mystery that will linger hauntingly in the memories of all who would hope. First, Allow us to discuss the prospective venues. I've positively scoured the city for the most splendid settings. First possibility is the Grand Ballroom and the historic Midnight Shadow. This venue is by far and away the most luxurious, high-budget choice. Bathed in the allure of Parisian decor with it, High ceilings, crystal chandeliers, and palatial staircases. It's the perfect canvas upon which to paint your body. Imagine your guests floating down a regal staircase in their haunting costumes. The jazz band serenading them as they step into an otherworldly ambiance of mystery and elegance. So that's the Midnight Chateau, but if you'd prefer something a bit more in the Halloween spirit, you better believe I've got just the thing. Alternatively, we have the atmospheric Ravenswood Manor, an old sprawling mansion shrouded in tales of the supernatural. This venue is certainly the most thematic choice for with its dilapidated charm, ivy-clad walls, and secret passageways, and such. It all lends itself to the perfect haunted mansion theme, complete with bona fide rumors of actual ghost sightings. The spirit of the former owner, Lord Ravenswood, is said to roam this manor still. Witnesses have reported spotting him in his study, still absorbed in his books and his writing, entirely unaware of the goings-ons of the living. And a local historian once claimed to have encountered a spectral maid tidying up the dusty library. When he approached her, she looked up and she smiled, and then simply vanished into thin air. And, 
first of all, on some moonlit nights, the mansion's formal dining room is said to host a spectral tea party. Witnesses have seen a ghostly figure sipping tea and conversing in hushed tones, exchanging all manner of delectable gossip, I'm sure. Oh, I'd just kill to be a little fly on that wall. We can deck the place out. If your heart desires an open-air affair, the Rosemary Garden Pavilion offers an ethereal setting with lush gardens, fountains, and moonlight dancing on the leaves. This outdoor venue certainly has the potential to be transformed into the fairy tale garden party of your dreams, where masks, masquerades, and mystique reign supreme. Let's delve into your prospective guest list for this extravagant event. I must emphasize the importance of curating the guest list with care and precision. You see, this list is the very soul of your party, the essential ingredient that will elevate it from an ordinary, everyday gathering to a legendary the art of a meticulously crafted guest list lies not only in inviting those who can contribute to the atmosphere, but also in creating a perfectly harmonious mix of personalities. We want laughter, we want intrigue, we want conversation to flow as smoothly as the champagne. It is the synergy between the guests their chemistry that will weave the tapestry of the night. And let us not forget the secret ingredient of exclusivity. By carefully selecting those who receive the honour of an invitation, we create a sense of anticipation and intrigue surrounding the event. It ensures that your soiree where only the most refined, the most fascinating of individuals will gather. Our first prospective recipient of an invitation is none other than Sir Chester Montgomery, the epitome of charm. He possesses a certain charisma that is known to light up the night. His tailored suits always impeccably accessorized make him the envy of high society. Rumour has it that he recently made a fortune trading Westinghouse electric stocks, further solidifying his position as a prominent figure in our city. The pros of inviting him extend beyond his financial prowess. His presence promises an aura of sophistication that's hard to resist. However, one must never forget the corn. Just as flirtatious nature could lead to some sparks flying among your guests, it might enliven the party, but could also leave a few hearts in disarray. So what do you think? Would you like to invite uh, Sir Chester to risk you a flirt? Right. Next, allow us to consider Miss Genevieve Hartley, the mysterious enchantress. She is rumoured to possess a special connection with the spirit world. Her alluring gaze has left many fascinated. She's been known to host seances and tarot readings that inspire gasps and tears. The benefits of inviting her are quite clear. Her presence will lend an otherworldly dimension soiree, making it truly unforgettable. Perhaps Clarence Robinson may strove jazz. With his slick hair and piercing gaze, he commands attention wherever he goes. 
rumor has it that his jazz band's recent performances have absolutely set the town ablaze. Inviting him will guarantee a night of fantastic music and impassioned dancing. Given the theme of the event, we simply must consider famed author Abigail Whitmore, the mysterious recluse and mistress of macabre tales. She's sure to lend your party an eerie ambiance that's perfect for Halloween. Her books are dark and haunting, and her reclusive nature has only added to her enigmatic appeal. The rewards of inviting her lie in these spooky she carries, setting the stage for a night filled with haunting tales. However, you may wish to consider her tendency to remain aloof, engrossed in her own thoughts and stories, which might hinder her engagement in lively conversations. But personally, I believe that with so Oliver Wilson, the posh aristocrat known throughout the city for hosting extravagant parties, had his collection of opulent estates. His connections throughout high society are enviable, and an invitation to him would help secure your access to the most elite of circles. Oliver has a knack for orchestrating and events that leave guests awestruck, so his expectations are quite high. His insistence on perfection could be quite demanding and may require extra attention to satisfy his discerning tastes. But if you are interested in extending an invitation his way, I assure you I am certainly up for the task. I now suggest Lady Penelope Worthington. Her elegance and poise are unmatched, absolutely dripping with aristocratic grace. Gossip whispers that she recently returned from a daring expedition to Egypt, bringing back strange artifacts and stories of ancient curses. Her attendance is sure to bring an air of aristocratic and her tales of adventure could be quite captivating. Next on the list is Barnaby Thornfield, a brilliant inventor, renowned far and wide for his eccentric gadgets and contraptions. His laboratory is a hot spot for all the curious minds of our era. Gossip suggests he's on the verge of unveiling a groundbreaking invention that could revolutionize an industry. You might appreciate his knack for sparking intriguing conversations, and perhaps we might even be treated to do a demonstration of his latest creation. However, his uh, eccentricity, if you will, can sometimes border on the bizarre, potentially unsettling some of the guests. This list would be a miss without mention. Arabella Monroe, rising starlet of the film industry. She has captivated audiences of late with her undeniable beauty and talent. She's a darling of Hollywood and the tabloids, with rumors of a secret romance with a famous director circulating. Her presence is sure to add a touch of glitz and glamour and her stories from the silver screen could be enchanting. But there is potential paparazzi attention to consider. The drama that might follow her could tarnish the party a bit. Or just take things to the next level of excitement. Then I might suggest Dr. Victor Blackwood, a renowned psychologist, a celebrated He's known for his insightful lectures and studies on dreams and the subconscious. Word has it, they 
said he's been working on a controversial theory about the paranormal. He's sure to stimulate intellectual discussions, and his insights into the human psyche could add a layer of depth to your party. I'm sure your guests will have quite a lot of questions for him. This gathering would just not be complete without A skilled fortune teller and palm reader. She has a magnetism about her that's hard to ignore. Her tent at the local carnival never fails to draw a crowd. Gossip suggests that her predictions have an uncanny accuracy. Swarms of people clamor with desperation to hear their future laid out before them by the incomparable Dupont. Her attendance will bring an element of enchantment to your party. I'm sure your guests will all be thrilled to be provided with intriguing personal insights into their future. Another option is Miss Evelyn Sinclair, a rising star in the world of journalism. She's made quite the name for herself with her investigative report captivating storytelling. Talk about town suggests she's currently working on a sensational expose involving a powerful politician. Consider the potential for stimulating conversations about current events and her knack for uncovering intriguing stories. Her presence could lend an air of sophistication to your event if she enjoys herself thoroughly. She might even write a glowing piece about your soiree in the papers, generating priceless buzz for your next party. However, the risk does lie in the possibility of her not enjoying herself and spreading the word about the dull experience she suffered. Then there's Mr. Sebastian Langley, known primarily by his state. benefits of inviting him are unquestionable. His presence promises to bring electricity to the dance floor. His performances are thrilling and will keep the party's energy at an all-time high. The other guests will simply not be able to resist the temptation to join him on the dance floor. Now let's consider Miss Isabella She's graced the covers of numerous fashion magazines, and most recently turned heads in the Edna Wallace face powder campaign. You can't walk ten steps in this town without seeing her lovely face plastered about. Her allure has left men swooning, and she's accustomed to being treated like a princess. I've heard whispers that her newfound fame has gone to her head a touch, and she's become notoriously easily offended if not paid the utmost attention. The excitement and the glamour she'll bring to the evening is undeniable. Her presence will make waves, motivating highly esteemed guests to make appearances, and her admirers will undoubtedly shower her with attention, creating an intoxicating atmosphere. However, it is important Mr. Samuel Smokey Malone. Now, Smokey, he is quite the character, with his impeccable taste in fine suits and a hat that's always tilted just right. He exudes a charisma that's difficult to ignore. I've heard it spoken in hushed tones that Smokey here is a bootlegger of some renown, supplying the finest of forbidden libations in the know. The benefits of inviting Mr. Malone to your Halloween affair are quite evident. He'll infuse the party with a sense of excitement. His stories of running about with the underground crowd, tales of the daring escapades I'm sure he's played 
and including the incomparable Lillian Devine, a vaudeville performer of exceptional talent. Lily is a true gem of the stage, with a vivacious personality that shines as brightly as the footlights. She's known for her captivating singing, her intricate dance routines, and her comedic timing that leaves audiences in stitches. Gossip about Miss Lily often centers around her dazzling performances at the city's most prestigious vaudeville theaters, where she's earned both fame and a legion of adoring fans. Her presence guarantees a night of amusement. She can sing the blues, make you laugh till you cry, and dance the Charleston like no one else. The energy she brings to the stage is infectious, and your guests will be enchanted by her undeniable charisma. Here is a guest who will bring a touch of literary elegance to your soiree, Mr. Theodore Whitman. A renowned poet with a penchant for weaving words into enchanting tapestries of verse. Theodore is a character of quiet sophistication, often found engrossed in his own thoughts, seeking inspiration from the world around him. The talk of Mr. Whitman tends to revolve around his award winning poetry and his recent publication that's been the darling. His words have a way of painting vivid imagery and evoking deep emotions within his readers. The reasons to invite Theodore to your gathering are clear as the moon on a crisp October night. His attendance promises to elevate the evening. His fireside readings of haunting poems and eloquent verse are sure to create an atmosphere of contemplation and intrigue that your classier guests I must say, including Amelia Covington on your guest list would be quite the daring move. She's a figure of undeniable intrigue, a stunning, fashionable, wealthy widow. Word has it that Mr. Covington's untimely demise was shrouded in scandal and mystery. Whispers of her involvement in his death, whether by accident or design, have painted her as a femme fatale of the highest order. Her ability to maintain her social standing and wealth in the face of such rumours is a testament to her resilience and charm. She exudes a high glamour with her exquisite wardrobe dripping with pearls and ostrich feathers. Her presence would undoubtedly A fashionable allure could even inspire some of your other guests to step up their own costumes. But disagreements and tensions may well arise. Your guests could have their own variety of strong opinions about Mrs. Covington's past. It's essential to be prepared for potential trauma, as her presence could easily spark debates, both whispered and spirited. Perhaps you might Serafina is a striking figure, known for her stunning acrobatic acts and her fearless performances under the big dog talk of Miss Leclerc often revolves around her mesmerizing aerial performances and her ability to captivate audiences with her daring feats. Her presence promises to infuse the evening with a sense of wonder. Her performances, whether on the trapeze, the silk, Let's now discuss the young gentleman whose presence at every party is an unspoken and unwelcome obligation. Master Reginald Harrington, a rather spoiled and entitled young man whose name is unfortunately synonymous with the power of his 
his father's influence. Reginald is known well for his extravagant taste and his expectation of being catered to at every turn. It's oftentimes said that his arrival at a party is accompanied by an air of petulance wafting into the room, a stench much like caviar. The rewards of inviting Reginald Understanding of your potential guests, my dear client, I'm sure you'll make an informed decision that aligns perfectly with the atmosphere that you desire for your Halloween bash. Together, we shall craft an unforgettable night of revelry and mystique. So, do you tell which of these prospective guests makes the cut? soup served in small cauldrons, garnished with a swirl of cream and a spiderweb design. Yes or no? Yes. Devil's eggs. Deviled eggs with a delightfully devilish red filling. Yes, those are very popular. Poisoned apples. Caramel and chocolate dipped apples with a few drops of green food Bloody Mary shrimp cocktails. Simply shrimp cocktails with a Bloody Mary cocktail sauce. No. Ghostly canapes. Open-faced sandwiches with ghost-shaped toppings using goat cheese and capers for the eyes. Yes. 
which is brooms made of cheese and pretzels. Vampire bites, skewers of cherry tomatoes and fresh mozzarella with a drizzle of balsamic reduction. Yes. A goblin goulash, a green split pea and meat stew. No. Coffin sandwiches, small coffin shaped sandwiches filled with assorted fillings like roast beef, turkey or vegetarian options. Yes. Excellent choices. I'm certain your guests will be just delighted by those spooky yet delicious treats. Now time to turn our attention to the captivating world of fashion. Your costume as the host must be nothing short of extraordinary. It's not merely a disguise, it's your statement, showing off to everyone the tone that you wish to set for the evening. It's a conversation starter, it's the centerpiece of the whole affair, an inspiration to your guests. And luckily for you, I work closely all the finest designers in the city to offer you a spectacular catalogue of costumes to choose from. So prepare to dazzle, my dear. Prepare to sparkle and shine like the moon and stars. We'll peruse all the options. You'll let me know which ones catch your eye, and I'll send in the order right away, complete with your precise measurements. The finished product is guaranteed step exactly one week before your party. Let's take a look, shall we? See what you like. Let's begin with the ladies' home journal. What a darling cover, don't you think? I love this cat witch gazing up at the lanterns with her cape flowing out behind her, moons under tow, charming little ruffles about her elbow, corseted bodice, big fluffy skirt with a cat, a cat, a cat, a cat. A fairy. shade of blue would just stun on you, I'm certain of it. Can you 
is the lattice stained glass. The sides of her dress are the, are the drapes drawn in at the waist, and the flowers decorating the windowsill and on the head. Victorian doll. 1815. A bottle of Wincani's wine. Thank you. 